it! Hello my friends, welcome to Secrets You Missed in our top 5 most viral videos last year. This is part 2. In this video, me and Mikey lift the curtain on our Vietnam video, our siblings are dating video, and our stinky iPhone vending machine 1, 2. This is the Vietnam video. Okay, we're gonna just play this intro, right? And you just, you see if you can spot anything. Anything that you think is off. This is one Vietnamese dong. It's not. It's a Japanese yen. <laughs> it's, a, it's the first thing you say. How did that get through months of editing? We have, we bought a dong. I bought a Vietnamese no, no, look, dong. Look, so this is what we ordered. Yeah. This item is, they sent us the wrong coin. Oh, really? And we just didn't double check, so it's our fault. It really upset me. Yeah. I, we didn't realise until we posted it, someone said it, and I just, I broke down. I was like, <laughs> months of perfection. We're in Vietnam. So this, we brought uh, Charlie, our lovely drone operator. This isn't our drone footage. It's not. On the day, it was horrendously rainy, and I've got footage to show you how <laughs> rainy it was. <laughs> yeah, one sec, let me wipe it again. So this is this is the rain. <laughs> with a video like this, there are so many moving parts, and if you are like two hours late with like, if we just stayed around for it to be dry, <laughs> you lose everything else. Look at the rain on the oh water there. Oh my god. Yeah. This next bit is unseen footage of us Ooh. speaking to Vietnamese locals. Of you yeah. speaking to Vietnamese locals. You were there. Chalang. <laughs> And click on. Okay, so we didn't include this in the video. So th there's alcohol there. And the part after this, we had to drive. This really nearly fucked the whole day. We had a bit of this and just had to wait as like, we just waited for an hour or two before we drove. If you notice there, it was kept in a Coke bottle. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's homemade and they call it happy water. And I don't know what it is, but I had lots of it while I was there and it, it's really, really good. good stuff. Really good stuff. And can they say Kong? Say Kong, say Toy map, toy map, toy map. This was at the point where you still were saying toy map and you didn't realize. And he said soon. You said toy map and he went, Soon. <laughs> it's just a great response. <laughs> Come on. What did we just speak about? I just asked them if they were drunk. They said no. We just couldn't add that because it's like the next section of the video. Even though there's time in between, it's like us doing a brand deal or driving. It was just it's a good bit, but it had to go. So on this card was mm. the side bend. This, oh, is, this is the revolution yeah. card. And we're asking her if she knows the side bend. The side bend. Card, I yeah. see. Side men. You know side men? Maybe my, uh, my brother, he know because Young. he. Uh, ah. <laughs> Who's that, Bail? How's that bail? Oh, my Vietnamese is pretty you good. It. You did it. You, you <laughs> fucking nailed it. Success! We got banana shirts. I can't leave you alone for five minutes, can we? Oh, that was, um, Son. There was uh, like a six man crew. Son there, lovely man, was there. He kind of just came with us the whole way down. He was like a guide. Like his job was just like guide people through Vietnam. Shout out Son. What a legend. And this is him on a private jet, Come which is pretty on, cool. Son. So he got some good shit out of it yeah. as well. Ciao, Chi. Chi Khoe Khong. I love this lady. She was great. You just fancied it. I did. Hey, no fun. <laughs> Thank, nice. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Chemsa. Chemsa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nah. Come on. Ten la Mikey. Uh, and uh, ten tien ang kua ang la do ta. Yeah, do ta. <laughs> What do you say? I said you're Vietnamese. A big head! <laughs> this is a disgrace. This is no. a disgrace. Lovely people. Great, it's it's a great, great nation. Great, a great nation, nation. A great nation. This is the bike chain. Yes! I can't believe no one spotted this. So this was the first bike yeah. that we had. And this is the second bike. And this They're is a comparison. Yeah, different bikes. So basically, on the day, the producers, they had booked a guy or like spoken to a guy to drive it back from Hanoi. On the day, just did not show up. So we basically had to drive it halfway and then get a new bike to pull up into Hanoi with. Bit of a faff. I thought the helmets would be a dead giveaway. Oh yeah. Driving in Hanoi, just pure stress. Oh, it was great though. Oh yeah. Uh, this is weird. Uh, later on, Mikey's got his half and half fucking monstrosity of a suit. We rock up to the Amman airport and there's a family dressed exactly like you, just in reverse. Yeah. Strange. Let me give you a Vietnamese toilet review. Right, this is not a nice toilet. Everywhere. And I do really like bidets after going to Vietnam. I don't. Yeah. I find it weird. Not washing your bum. And what's great is the pressure yeah. was never the same. So they had these little hoses, which you basically you pressed it and it would go and it would like squirt. And you were never sure. It was always a gamble. 
of right, how, right, how, how hard it's going to be. Oh, what you put up, and it could really Yeah, come. and it could really, it could yeah. shoot through your mouth, I think. <laughs> it was fantastic. Now, at this point, we realised we just did the Top Gear Vietnam special just in reverse. Or in the town of Hoi An, <laughs> Vietnam's Savile Row. We basically, uh, so I, how this works is obviously I can't know all the challenges, but I know how to kind of how to structure the YouTube video. So the suit shop is the exact same. And basically at this point, we'd found out we'd just done the Top Gear Vietnam special in reverse. This was absolute peak though. Like we got here and now it's just like, we're living good. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is unseen footage from the Ooh, private jet. Nice. I don't Let's relive this. This is the most expensive 40 minutes of my entire life. There's so many cabinets. Do they do the uh, air flight safety announcement on these or do we not bother? What happens if we crash? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Mikey. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, all a, uh, producer all a uh, very not fond of small shaky planes was worried about the private jet. Literally, we like got mopeds into fucking Hanoi and whatever. What she was worried about was the private the jet. Private jet. <laughs> so a week before the Vietnam video, yeah. I went to Vietnam to practice my Vietnamese. You were sent on a mission for the video. You go pra practice your Vietnamese yeah. and film it. He didn't fucking film it. It was supposed to be after you said, oh, I can speak Vietnamese. We can't speak Vietnamese. I can. No, you can't. Vong. M. Carte. We'd have a great bit showing people straight away of you speaking Vietnamese. It's he just went there on his jollies and, and had a great time. It, it felt really rude though to like stick a camera in someone's face. Yeah. Like to, when you're trying to speak to like a local, I feel I feel mean. Yeah, but we'd pre-agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's film this. But I did get on Vietnamese TikTok. Hi, 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 so you just walked into the bar with me, like, can I have a trim? Yeah, well, I said, uh, I said, Emun <laughs> Katok. Which means, <laughs> I want a haircut. <laughs> I refuse to go to a different barber in London. Never mind, I just, <laughs> let me just rock up to Vietnam. Especially looking at his fucking trim. <laughs> oh, hell no, man. He's called Ducky. He was a legend, that guy. What a boy. That means smells good, right? You remember that from the yeah, restaurant? Yeah. Well done. That restaurant guy was a fucking legend. He was really cool he was as well, sick. yeah. He was cool. Do you know what was great? I walked in and obviously I spoke to him in a bit of Vietnamese, obviously mm. broken Vietnamese. And then another white guy walked in and they charged him double. Really? <laughs> my haircut really? Was. I didn't ask for a discount. Yeah. But just, just out you try, of yeah, pure yeah, respect. Yeah, it, was, it was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Bryan. Yeah, this is uh, one of the comments. Wait, does this say if you get Kevin De Bruyne from eBay. Yeah, it says, it says <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne eBay version. <laughs> it's what it says. And uh, yeah. yeah, while I was immersing myself with the local people, our producers <laughs> went to this Irish pub. So, uh, so we sent Mikey a week early to just get a climb type of the language, and then all uh, and Abby went up and kind of just did the route. I think it's like standard practice in TV. You just go and check out and like all your plans. Check that they're fine and everything's going to go smoothly. This is brilliant, right? This is why I think the site men. Well, they obviously fucking kick it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So this is the first video we've ever made probably over half an hour, like yeah. a proper video. You get paid so much more. So this did 6 million views, right? And made <laughs> 27,000 pounds. It's incredible. This video cost 52,379 pounds. Good thing with this is I think sponsor and everything, we broke even on this. So success. In a video like that, like there is so many moving parts of just like getting people out and whatever. And there's only like six six, seven of us, like. Even though comparing us to Top Gear is a massive compliment, considering the budget. And yeah, yeah. Like we did it on that budget. Fuck em. <laughs> <laughs> fuck em. My conclusion, fuck, fuck em. em. So the siblings or dating video had the best retention of yeah. any video we did this year. So that is because no one watched it. <laughs> That's because yeah. it didn't make it out of our audience. Was that was it our worst performing video this year? I think, I think it, it might was. be. I Which is a shame. Video. I thought it was a really good video. Yeah, it's, not, it's it was... not bad. I, I think the iPhone video is a shit video. I do, yeah. That's, I think that's, that's the worst one. Great. Oh, and then, what are you gonna guess? 80 minute video, like one and a half million views? 6,200 pounds. 5,012 uh, great British pounds. That's okay. Siblings are dating cost. Oh, 18,000 pounds. Siblings are dating was yeah. a very cost effective video. It wasn't Mikey, it lost we lost 13,000 pounds. <laughs> As you can see, it's not a, not a great business model we have here on the Will and E channel. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, it's so bad. 
But we asked their permission yeah. before we posted that. We, we contacted them and we said, is it okay if we post this? And they said yes, so that's why we posted it. Now, our first contestant for this game was called Daniel. Daniel got quite injured. Basically, we got four blocks of ice and we froze iPhones inside all of them. And we gave people, like, they could pick a number between one and four, and whatever number they picked kind of uh, corresponded to a tool they could use to break the ice. Daniel obviously didn't know these numbers before and picked two, right? You've been given a bottle opener to smash ice. You go, let me grip these handle bits here, right? Let me grip these handle bits and whack that into it here. Daniel pulled those down and grabbed the, like, spirally stuff you used to dig into a cork. And did, did he pass out? He's, so he's, he basically like mashed his hand up a bit. He really didn't care about the phone either. <laughs> I'll take actually, let's see, yeah, it's a good phone. I'm getting to the point now. <laughs> Is it worth it? It's embarrassing. Bro would have been happier with a prime bottle. This studio we hired was so expensive. That was like, I don't want to say because... Fuck it, I think this was like six grand and it looks shit because we didn't design any of the background. It's just like white wall. It was just a naff video really, but this video made 3,500 pounds, right? Which solid. This video cost 27,610 pounds. You look at it and you go, I don't know where that went. What do I... Oh, okay. oh yeah. Are you little prompt, prompt questions? Yeah, little I like prompt. It. Well, I just thought... Because yeah. the siblings are dating one didn't do too well. The iPhone video kind of did well. What do you yeah. consider a success? I would say, right, Ted, Vietnam, siblings are dating, smallest car, yeah, collection one, or will any videos. I feel like the iPhone one was very like materialistic and yeah. didn't really have much it of a story. Anyone could have done that. Video. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah. even though that has a lot more views than siblings are dating, I'm way more proud of siblings are dating. How many it. views do you think? What At what point are you satisfied? That no, you're, you're never on. It's, it's, it's it, numbers are unending. But surely do you not look at it? I go like, once we get to 3 million, I'm like, okay, that's do you? a good video. Do you? Yeah, ah, yeah. I'm I... like, 3 million is like, okay, we've done something that yeah. is impressive. I think I'll probably look at it on from like uh, another way more negatively. I go, fuck me, we've just spent three months on this. I hope it just gets somewhere decent. I'll be honest, I don't really care about a set number of views. It's the fucking one out of 10 stuff. You can be feeling totally fine. I'm like, oh, it's got 600K first day. Uh, which That's a ridiculous number of stuff. You can watch that and be like, solid. And then you see nine out of 10. And you're like, I just want to cry. And I also hate when you get a one out of 10, they set the fucking- Confetti cannons off. They set confetti cannons off, yeah. It feels great. It's like, it's an amazing drug, but you just know there will be a time where I post a video and I'll not get that fucking confetti yeah. and I will be sad. Yeah.